Department of Agriculture appointed you as yes. the herd keeper for the animals. And yes. and so Mr. Robert Marin is the that's solicitor. Right, that's, that's right. Right. And he, 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 he confiscated the grants uh, 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 and give it, uh, probably he gave he, he the money that was in the grants over to them. But I never got a children. Ah, right. So they, they were... Never po- got a children. They were pocketing the money that you they're, should have been getting. You're dead right, Sean. Dead right. So, so Mr. Robert Marin refused to award the grant monies paid down from the Department of Agriculture. Oh, yes, yes. yes. And they were paid, but who oh, got no, them? They were, they were paid. Mm. No offence. So this is corruption by Mr. Marin's solicitor. Sure, sure, it's not, it's not corruption, Sean. It is corruption. It's dreadful. Yes, it it's, is corruption. It really is horrible. And uh, Mr. Marin also refused to pay your sister Eileen's share of the proceeds from the That's land right. from the land sale, despite yes, the fact yes. that he had the same in his yes. possession for nearly two years. That's right. Okay. And then he went on to. Did he threaten you? Huh? Um, he said, it's, I, I'm reading up a little bit about it, and it says he went on to threaten Michael and Eileen, that's yourself and your sister. And oh, he did. Intended he, to distribute. He did. He did. Well, I, uh, Mr. Robert Marin's solicitor refused to award Michael Gavin the grant money, which was paid down from the Department of Agriculture. And Michael is owed, and also work done and services rendered. And Michael is owed over 116000 for nine years. Um, minding the farm, minding the farm animals, right? Yes. Robert Mar- Marin's solicitor held on to the funds from the land sale for over two years, and then um, <clears throat> finally awarded Michael Gavin and he and myself twelve thousand five hundred plus interest less than what we were entitled to. Right. Um, <clears throat> He also um, did not allow myself um, three and a half thousand, which was supposed to be, um, you know, taken from my amount uh, that, that was due to me because of the, it stated animals which I owned, and and that is incorrect because I never owned any animals. Uh-huh. Now there were people that were not paid, also, like for instance. Willie Pinrose, PD, was not paid for his opinion by, uh, since the, uh, whilst the estate was charged for same. Robert Marn, solicitor, um, squandered the estate assets and hired an additional accountant at a cost of 8,750 euros. Mm. When in fact we had, there was another accountant which quite capable of doing all this work, but this was an additional accountant that he hired. Now, he also um, did not provide any detailed bill of costs for the fee of, for his own fee of over 40,892 euros, which he awarded to himself. Uh, The bill of costs were, uh, there was no bill of costs provided for T and N McGlenn solicitors as a loan and um, they were paid an amount of um, thirty eight thousand. Over yeah. over thirty eight thousand. Wow, okay. A year, a year a year prior to the closing. Now um, I just wish to say that um, prior to um, Mr. Marin closing it, uh, we wrote to him and, you know, regarding uh, trying to get our money because we were waiting for so long for this amount of money to get our share uh, of the land sale and and for my brother to get his amount of rent money plus work done and services rendered. And um, we asked him to go, in, in the letter we wrote to him, we asked him to go to the court and to find out exactly how the estate should be, you know, divided up. Hmm. And he wrote back and threatened us with a letter stating that he was closing us, or he he, he, uh, threatened us that we should go and get 
uh, more or less take proceedings against him or otherwise get a solicitor and take proceeding against him or otherwise he was closing it at a certain date. Wow. And that's the that that is the story about it. So this is and absolute that, absolute corruption, Eileen. I mean, this is a it is, yes, it is corruption. And I and, and, I mean, and, and, and another thing I want to tell you uh-huh. is we are having a peaceful pro- uh, protest on this Friday, and outside Mr. Maron's office in Castle Street in Mullingar. Right, and, and it's going to continue. It's going to continue until we get our demands met, which we are due. Yes, yes. No, no, yeah. it, it makes perfect sense. And listen, th- well done for standing up against these corrupt shysters, because... Shout all you want. Protest all you like. Shout all you want. Protest all you like.